Hey, what's going on guys? This is Five Large Fries, and in today's video I'm going to be showing off some Battlefield 1 beta gameplay. Now, we've been very lucky with the betas that we've had this year. So, for example, we've had the Titanfall 2 beta, we've now got the Battlefield 1 beta here. And next month you're going to have the Call of Duty beta, which, I've got to be honest, it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Now, don't dislike me for that. I, I know where a lot of the hate comes from at the moment with Call of Duty, and that's the fact that it's the whole not being able to buy Call of Duty 4 on its own. Like, I agree. Like, you should be able to buy that on its own. Hopefully, they will listen to the community and allow you to buy it on its own. But at the moment, as it stands, they're still trying to get you to buy it. You know, if you want Call of Duty 4, you have to buy it in the bundle. I don't agree with that at all, but that's just my opinion. But the game does look great, right? That, again, that's just my opinion. You can hate me for it if you want. I mean, just don't drop a dislike on this video for that. You know what I mean? Like, this ain't Call of Duty. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not Call of Duty. Please don't do it. <laughs> so anyway, the one thing I want to talk about really quickly before I get into my thoughts on Battlefield 1 is if you're an Xbox One preview program member, that was a little bit of a tongue twister there, they are rolling out an update where you now have the clubs, you'll have the looking for group thing, which I'll talk about in depth in another video when I finally get the update myself, which should be hopefully within a couple of days. But overall, I'm really excited for that. That is a really cool concept to be adding to a console. I know Sony have something very similar with the whole clubs thing. In fact, you know, we, you know, Xbox is calling it clubs. I can't remember what the PlayStation calls it. Please don't crucify me for that. So Battlefield 1 is really refreshing to play considering we have a lot of futuristic styled first person shooters now. It's really refreshing to go back to the World War sort of era and use all the weapons like the, like the, rifles and stuff like that and have them feel clunky but clunky in a good way and I love the fact there isn't any of these like stupid red dot scopes that when an enemy goes in front of it it changes to a, a completely different color which you know a lot of these futuristic style shooters do so it's it's refreshing it's it's refreshing I mean the game looks beautiful like the graphics everything about it looks really stunning from uh, obviously in the beta, you know, it's like sand and stuff like that. You know, I know it's just sand, but it, it looks visually amazing, you know. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about is the classes. Now, my favourite class in Battlefield 1 is the Medic class. Now, the reason why is it feels like you have a lot more survivability to you. So when you're sort of in a fight, firefight, and you know you get hit a couple of times, you can drop a med pack down, and you instantly receive that healing boost kind of thing. So whereas, uh, say, an assault class has to kill or be killed kind of play, whereas with a medic, you can drop a med pack down, heal yourself, heal your teammates. You know when your teammates get killed, you can run over, revive them. They know exactly where the person who killed them is, so they can sort of spot them out for you or kill them you know get the revenge kills stuff like that it's really really cool and the other thing that i like is the vehicles as well they don't feel like these they they feel like a threat obviously but like with say battlefield the original one they feel over the top whereas this you know the movement in like the biplanes and stuff they feel how they well they look and feel how they should look and feel you know, in terms of how they fly and stuff like that, which is, is amazing. Now, I've only had one chance to pilot one of these aeroplanes, and obviously the settings that I have on there aren't the settings that I would be used to. So, for example, if I wanted to pull up, I would have to, on the settings that I was using, I'd have to push up on the analog stick, which I'm really not used to. I mean, this is something that obviously you can change in the options, but where I've never had the chance to pilot before, I never had the... You know, I never felt like I should change that in the options, so, you know, it's one of them things. Overall, I really do enjoy the beta, which, and it's a really nice sort of insight to what Battlefield 1 is going to be, and I'm really looking forward to Battlefield coming out. Right, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like on it, it would help me out a lot, and also subscribe, because that would help me out even more. It knows, it makes me know that you guys are interested in my shit, which hopefully you guys are. Until next time, 
I'll see you in the next video.